All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Wapasua. How you say good morning, and you what? Um, I'm so thankful for you to be here today. This is our village called the Wahoga, and it's I guess it's kind of named after like an eagle that's above around here in the rock. But um, this village was occupied until 1969 by Native people here in Yosemite. Our Native people, local Miwok and Paiute people, and uh, we're very we're very thankful for any of the help that we get today because we're trying to wrap up this our our putting away things for winter time so we can finish our construction of our roundhouse next summer so any of the help that you you get we're gonna scrape some logs today with the to help put our cedar on the roundhouse has anyone been to the village by the visitor center did anyone see those so we're making a roundhouse of just a larger roundhouse here in this village so that our people can continue ceremonies more in line with um, more privately, but also we continue. Also, we'll have ceremonies there. But this is a village that we've been wanting to have for a long time because um, some of our our people were were forced to move from this place. So recently, the Park Service uh, signed an MOA with our tribe, Southern Sierra Miwok Nation, to to give some of um, some kind of, I guess, not title, but more like ability to manage this area for our cultural and tribal uses. So it's a good thing. It's um, we're gonna have ceremonies, and it's gonna help our people be stronger and help hopefully heal heal ourselves and the land. So we're just welcome welcome you to this area. Um, and I'm very thankful. My name is Irene Vasquez, and I, I grew up here. My family is from here. My grandma was born here in the old, in the village where the clinic now is, stands now. There was an Indian village there as well, and she's 87, and she couldn't be here today, but um, there's also a language class going on, so there's some people there today in Mariposa relearning our language, and um, we're just so thankful for you to be here. So we have a lot of projects. I can walk, we can do a walkthrough first of the, of the site. Sure. And um, I'm just, this is uh, what our smudges and, and our beliefs, we believe that it helps clear people, clean people off of any negative energy. So I'll just come around and, and give a little smudge and clean you up a little bit. That's what we like to say, but um, it's not harmful. It, it just cleans the air and cleans the bacteria off of you. <laughs> but, um, what? Can you tell them what it is? This is kitching in Miwok, but it, in uh, common terms, they call it mugwort. And it's our type of sage we use up here, and it grows everywhere around the valley in wet spots, it likes water. And, um, you know, just like many cultures around the world burn incense, it's, it's how we, our form of keeping good energy and keeping things good in a good way. So, yeah. Can you tell them, just like for just a little bit, you know, they're all in college. Okay. And can you just tell them like what you just completed and, oh. and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my educational career? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I mean, I, yeah. would you be interested in hearing like how yeah. she ended up? Oh, okay, cool. That's how I got here, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So little, I, also, like I also wear, wear the pickle suit, too. <laughs> I work for um, restoration management and sciences as a restoration worker, biological science technician. And my whole, how I got to this position, this place is I grew up here, but I also started working in the Indian village when I was 15. And I always knew I wanted to restore plants for basket purposes, so that's what I wanted to go to school for. I went to UC Santa Cruz and um, studied abroad in Aotearoa, New Zealand, for a whole year, and that's kind of got the travel bug in me, but I studied environmental science and economics there. And then it was such a hard thing to get through. I, I, um, I didn't think I was going to go back to school. I took a whole seven-year hiatus from school, <laughs> and I was, I was, I, it was really tough. I'm the first in my family to attend and graduate from a university. And I had to lay the hunger strike because they were trying to cut programs for native directors and everything. But um, I did it. And I, I, the reason I went back to school is because I wanted to get further in this career and throughout the park service and restoring native plants for cultural uses. So I went back to school and I just finished with my master's of science in the natural resource management from Humboldt State yeah. this, fall, this spring. And I wrote my thesis and all that on restoring a plant, a native plant tule for baskets. And I implemented some prescribed burns at Calusa and 
Yeah, they they burn a uh, truly for waterfowl purposes. So for nesting birds and nest and baskets, really similar. You know, <laughs> nests hold hold uh, knowledge for and um, important information for future generations. You know, they they just like baskets. It it holds customs and, and knowledge that I hope we can continue restoring plants for those uses. So. Um, they're not so separate, you know, uh, native species, plant species, animal species, and, and, and traditional cultural purposes. So that's one thing that, yeah, burning helps it, managing helps it, it for specific purposes. So that's how I got here, and I'm back working for the Park Service. I took a year off from last year, but I, um, while I was writing my thesis, but it was a good break. <laughs> and it's nice to be back, and I got more energy to help lead volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also the secretary for my tribe right now, and we're going through something that's pretty difficult, our federal recognition. Since 1982, my tribe's been petitioning the government for federal acknowledgement, which, you know, may, a lot of people don't know about, but um, Cal a lot of California tribes are non-federally recognized due to non-ratified treaties since the gold rush, 1850s. So my tribe from here, this place, we're not, we... So without that standing, we don't have sovereignty. We can't make our own decisions. We're kind of stuck in this economic rut where we're still living in poverty and, and trying to escape that. And without those other resources, even for scholarships for school or um, health care, it, it is tough. So we got to work hard, and this helps us be stronger, restoring this place and these ceremonies. So thank you for coming today and, and volunteering to be here and, and do all you can. I'd, um, our elder Bill, he was here yesterday. We had a couple of volunteers yesterday. We got a couple of bark logs peeled, but he's like, "Yeah, bring them on. We could set them up. A couple, couple here, a couple here, a couple here. You know, a couple groups." So we're very appreciative and thank you. Oh, so I'll cool. walk around and. and I'm gonna give a little, One thing I on. would like for you all, if we could, can we thank Irene and Paul for taking their time to come out here and make this thank opportunity you. for us? Thank you. Oh, you guys are cool. <laughs> I'm cool. So I'm sad you didn't get